What's up, YouTube? What is going on? It is Sunday night. A little Kent Pool live for you. If, uh, if you didn't get to hang out Friday night, uh, we talked about some new Marvel Legends releases. Uh, Kingpin, what an awesome figure. Got some cool pictures up on Instagram of uh, the Kingpin. Who else did we get? Oh, yeah, we got uh, Old Man Logan, Old Man Hawkeye, two-pack. What uh, what a great look for any Marvel Legends collection. But uh, tonight we're going to talk about Hasbro Pulse Con 2020. Uh, so hopefully everybody's getting excited as uh, the time is ticking away. And uh, it'll, be, it'll be here before we know it. Mary777, what's up? up christina Payne, what's going on glue sniffer hello all prime time reviews uh hope you had a nice weekend yeah it was a pretty nice weekend pretty nice uh it got <clears throat> excuse me chilly chilly this morning so we'll uh we'll see how that plays out jiminy crickets what's up David, what's happening? What is going on? <clears throat> FP, what is good? It's uh, it's Ken Pool live. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna talk about Hascon. Nope. Hasbro PulseCon 2020. Uh, we're going to talk about Wolverine, but not this Wolverine. This is the Amazon exclusive. Uh, we got another Fox movie Wolverine to uh, to take a look at. Uh, I don't know if I got him first, if uh, Jetta got him first, if it's a competition, but... We're, uh, we're going to find out. Peace to the family. Malika, what's going on? Air Max 95 exclusives. What's up? Sizzle Jones, Greg Cook. Good evening, everybody. All right, Nida Ren, don't be uh, coming on here trying to uh, sell some action figures. Look out for that Nida Ren guy. He's, uh, he's trying to... He'll uh, he'll jump on a live stream and try to try to sell you a Hugh Jackman Wolverine. So look out for that guy. I'm excited for Hasbro Pulse Con 2020. I'm really hoping to get Black Series Heroes of Endor set. Yeah, that's a that's a pretty cool pretty cool set. Uh, need help from you? What's uh what's going on, Air Max? Uh, do any toy hunting this weekend? Kind of make it look easy. <laughs> yeah. Um, I did a little bit of a uh, little bit of toy hunting mostly yesterday. Uh, kind of ran into something today, but uh, definitely uh, check out the video. Hopefully, the video will drop. Um, it was acting up, so I haven't got it rendered yet, so hopefully the video will drop not, uh, not too much later than, uh, after the live stream finishes up, maybe half an hour, hour later. H Green, 1313, what's going on? Yeah, I gotta rock, uh, gotta rock the long sleeves, it was a, uh, Kind of long sleeves, cool, kind of chill day. So uh, definitely rocking some Venom. Uh, that and the wave, uh, the that Venom wave. I've seen uh, people starting to post pictures, uh, starting to get their orders in. Man, I uh, I don't think uh, 
am I ordering from the right people? <laughs> it's uh, no, it's cool to see uh, people scooping things up, uh, getting those red ninjas at uh, Walgreens, uh, finding different uh, figures at Walgreens. Uh, I saw a lot of Moon Knight and less of the Iron Man 2020. So uh, let's see. Need help finding that Walgreens exclusive clone trooper. I'm in the New York area. Ooh, yeah, that uh, that could be tough. Um, definitely keep an eye on the Walgreens website. I know quite a few people ordered and uh, i think they already got their clones like today so possibly a restock there uh let me know in the comments if you have uh, seen those clones in stores uh i've seen i don't want to say i've seen more than four in a post but i've seen at least three in pictures clink 93 what is up Yeah, uh, being lucky definitely, uh, being lucky is probably better than uh, being good at the old toy game. Marvel Legends Venom Wave. Yeah, that, uh, that Venom pool is uh, going to be a pretty beast character. <laughs> Overseas Contacts. Yeah, overseas, uh, that can be helpful. People definitely getting some things early. Ooh, HGreen13 got his clones today. I think uh, somebody else I know may have got them, but uh, we won't spoil that. Yeah, nothing in the... All the, uh, all the stores I've been to, spoilers, Walgreens, uh, have been pretty... Uh, they're, uh, they're definitely resetting, so that's a good thing. Uh, did find two T-800 Terminators. Nice. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, I've seen many of the Red Ninjas, Moon Knights, and... Ooh. Well, uh, Air Max, uh, maybe, uh, maybe I can find you some clones and uh, we can trade for some Red Ninjas. We'll, uh, we'll see how it goes down. But 18 clones. Uh, you are army building, my friend. You are army building. Josiah. El Patron. Yes, we are live again. It's Sunday night. Feels good. Got, uh, got some figs. Uh, found uh, something pretty cool at Walmart today, but I'll save that for the video. Or if uh, if you saw it on Instagram, it's all good. Uh, still waiting on Target to drop that Storm Thunderbird box. Uh, so the Target app Storm Thunderbird, uh, I'm expecting October 4th. I don't know that it's an official date. Don't go uh, bug your stores and all that kind of stuff. But on the app, it's saying October 4th. So uh, I am hoping to find Storm and Thunderbird, hoping to find the two-pack for Deadpool, the Fox movie, and Mega Teenage Warhead. So here's hoping. I uh, haven't seen any clones. Uh, nice. All those pig warmers. Rob, what is going on? Haven't seen new clones. Buzzman. Got a clone at Walgreens website. Should be here tomorrow. Nice. Yeah, that, uh, that seems like that's been a pretty... Pretty easy transaction. I haven't heard too many complaints. So uh, very cool for anybody that snagged up those clones from Walgreens when uh, when they're on the website. Uh, everybody's saving cash for Hasbro Con Week, right? Uh, saving cash, selling. Who's, uh, who's got stuff to sell? Let's see. What can we sell? I will sell this shipped. 
Do I have any claims? Any dibs? Who uh, who needs a screwdriver? These are perfect for flight stands. If you do not have this, uh, flight stands can be very very difficult. So, and let's see what else do we have? I uh, thought I was gonna sell these, but uh, I'm actually going to, for some reason, and you know, I was. Uh, it was all me. Like, I don't care for bareness on them, but I like the troopers on them. So, we'll see. Maybe uh, maybe one or two more bikes. And uh, for some reason, the dog is trying to be super loud. Maybe, uh, maybe she wants a bike. I don't know. I don't know what she wants. She just wants to come make noise. Uh, El Patron, I got a few goodies on the list. Hellfire Goons, for sure. Yeah, that's, uh, that's why I couldn't buy clones. Uh, I need, uh, Hellfire Goons. Uh, haven't seen any Cobra Island stuff. Uh, come on, Target. Somebody's, uh, somebody's not doing you right, Knight of Ren, if you haven't seen anything. That's, uh, that's mean of them. Uh, my order for eight red ninjas will be shipped out this week from Amazon. Very nice. I like it. Doing some army building. That's a, that's a nice little army. Mandalorian hot toy will be shipping at the end of the week. Ooh, the Mandalorian. Uh, we'll have, uh, have new episodes of the Mandalorian Disney Plus before we know it. I've been watching uh, The Boys on Amazon. Uh, it's not bad on Friday. Uh, I'm trying to decide if I enjoyed the first season better because I just kind of binged through it and watched it uh, after the fact. But, uh, you know, it's a, it's a crazy, crazy show. That's uh, That's for sure. Uh, bikes would be great for Spider-Man. Nice. Or, uh, or the Serpent Society. That's what I keep forgetting to do. I need to do, uh, Cobra and, uh, the Serpent Society. That, uh, that would be a fun picture. We'll have to get that on, uh, on the old dioramas. Serpent Society... And Cobra. Mama said pop you out. What is going on? So I'm trying to do something. Uh, there you go. Little. Rah. The Logan. The Wolverine. Look at his bone claws. 37 Cobra Troopers need five more. Uh, yeah, that's some good Cobra Trooperine. I was, uh, I was pretty happy with my squad. Ordered a cloth wire cave for Dr. Doom on Amazon. Yeah, that'll be pretty cool. Uh, I know our next, uh, the retro card one, it's got a little bit of soft goods on it, but I don't think it's, like, the entire cape, so... That should be real good. Yeah, I, I'm, uh, I'm having a lot of fun with this uh, Amazon Wolverine. He is pretty cool. Pretty cool. How many Cobra Troopers? Uh, I stopped at 13. So I got uh, like a squad leader and then uh, a dozen troopers. So that was... Uh, that was where I pumped the brakes. Uh, I think I sent two to Great Cook. So, you know, I, I could have had a few more, but uh, I decided 13 was uh, was pretty good for me for uh, what I wanted to take pictures of. And uh, seems to be working. Good number. Usually troops, it's like 2, 6, 12. Those are those are usually some good troop numbers for me. 
As far as the head sculpt goes, I like the Wolverine and the jacket. Yeah, they're both uh, pretty good figures, and we'll uh, we'll take a look at that other Wolverine here in a minute. Uh, came with two right feet. Oh, man. Yeah, that's no fun. That is no fun. But, uh, yeah, we got this guy here. If you like uh, Wolverines. And we'll probably open him up in a minute and take a look at the Wolverine. But let's talk Hasbro Pulse Con 2020, where fans come first. So the main, like, entertainment days, uh, we're looking at the 25th. 5th and the 26th. Uh, they have partnered up with uh, Toys for Tots, if I'm not mistaken. And I don't want to misquote, misread anything. Where is it at? No, they sent me. I might have to look at the email. They sent me an email talking about. Um, for everybody that kind of watches and everything, uh, they're going to donate some money. And I'm pretty sure it was uh, Toys for Tots. Let's see if I still got the email. Where is it at? Come on. I might have deleted it. But, uh, yeah, that seems like a pretty cool thing. Yeah, once per viewer, so... Up to a uh, hundred thousand, so pretty cool. I imagine a uh, hundred thousand viewers probably won't be uh, won't be a problem for uh, the good people over at Hasbro. Uh, they usually put on a pretty good production, and uh, I imagine over the weekend that shouldn't be an issue for them. Uh, don't like the one with the code. I think the other one looks way better. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's definitely uh, different scenes and all that good stuff. What do you want? What do you want? I let you out early. I put you outside before I started the live stream. Now, now you want to come and you want to bug and you want to go outside. You're crazy. Go lay down. Go lay down. You go lay down. Get out of here. Trying to hijack the live stream. Dogs. They're crazy. Crazy dogs. Uh, do you see Magneto head swap with the old man Hawkeye? Um, I saw that. Um, uh, I'm trying to remember, though. Uh, at first, I was like, oh, Age of the Apocalypse, Magneto. But I don't think he was rocking the beard, was he? I think he just had the long hair. But, uh, yeah, you can kind of... I, I didn't think it looked bad. So not, uh, not a bad little swap there. Uh, Wolverine Professor X 2-pack. Uh, definitely on my list for Hasbro PulseCon. Uh, I think that'll be a pretty cool two-pack. I'm a little more excited for uh, Logan, but, uh, you know, what's, uh, what's one more Professor X at this point? They'll, uh, they'll look great together. I almost wish it was uh, Laura uh, X-23 instead, but... Uh, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? I uh, like how the Amazon one has the pinless arms. Yeah, pinless arms, 2020. Something good did come out of 2020.
Oh yeah, we're back. Y'all, y'all know. Uh, I, I want to just leave the dog sitting there acting like a fool. Let let the dog out, so y'all know who let the dog out. Uh, where is Hasbro Pulse Con going? Uh, online. Yep. So, to my knowledge, uh, I don't think there's going to be really a in-person presence. So. Everything should be online, and uh, you can kind of coordinate through the Hasbro Pulse website. But uh, let's see. Tall Man 80, what is going on? So kind of some dates to look at as we get closer and closer. So September 22nd at noon... Tune in to Hasbro Pulse YouTube, and uh, that is going to be a sneak preview of uh, kind of what's going to be going on. So, Hasbro Pulse YouTube channel. I don't know that I've ever uh, jumped onto the Hasbro Pulse YouTube channel. I don't know. Uh, I feel like I always watch the Marvel stuff on uh on facebook so we'll uh we'll see how that plays out cobra classified what's going on welcome to the stream uh i think it's just hasbro pulse let's see hopefully uh so continue and wow, hey, that's you, loud. Yeah, you. Can we talk about Hasbro PulseCon? Oh uh, yeah. That's uh, oh, that's favorite. totally what we're talking about. Uh, that was loud. Yeah. So it looks like the YouTube is just Hasbro Pulse. So if you are, uh oh, if you are, why is it doing that? That's crazy. If you uh, search YouTube, uh, just type in Hasbro Pulse. And on Tuesday, 22nd at noon, they'll be doing a little bit of preview. Uh, some of the things going on during the week. So that'll be pretty cool. I'll probably check that out. Uh, we'll see how much information they provide and if there's anything, you know, to do a video live stream on maybe that night. Uh, how effective do you think Hasbro PulseCon will be for buying the exclusives? Um, My thought is... They haven't really been taking the exclusives, so usually they sell them at SDCC. Usually they sell them at a couple other shows, have them on sale at New York Comic Con. So I'm thinking there's quite a bit of product that would usually go to these shows that should be available online. So I'm hoping there'll be quite a bit of profit. Or, yeah, I did that again. Hasbro will make a profit. Hopefully there'll be a lot of product to be had. Uh, they are doing one per customer on uh, the items. So you can't just go in and get... Uh, even two per sometimes uh, go fast. So one per item, which should help out with uh, bots and whatnot. Do have you seen the Sarah Connor John Connor two pack yet? No, I've uh, I've heard about it though. Definitely, people have uh, asked me about that. So I'll keep an eye on that and. I'm sure we'll show that on a future toy hunt. Looking for Red Ninjas? Yes, Cobra Classified. Um, I definitely 
need a few more red ninjas. Right now, I currently have one red ninja. I think I have two on pre-order and probably would like to get three more red ninjas. Yes, Hasbro Pulse members on the 23rd. You know me. I'm going to be uh, trying to get my dibs. There's uh, Wolverine throwing a little little karate kick. Maybe, uh, maybe it's Mystique. Maybe it's Wolverine. So, yeah, I'll definitely... Uh, Definitely be uh, jumping on on the 23rd at noon. Um, see if I can get Hellfire Club. That's my big thing that I really want to get. I want to get uh, Supreme Cobra Commander. And I would like to get Logan and Professor X 2-pack. So those, uh, those are the three things. Um, we'll see if I scoop up anything else, but definitely those three. Uh, what's the price that Logan? Yeah, you're probably looking at 49 and then, uh, some tax. And then if you're a Hasbro Pulse member, uh, free shipping. I uh, just saw them all over Macari. Oh yeah. Yeah. All kinds of good stuff there. Uh, those kids, what is up, sarcasm? Uh, do you think the Sentinels will go back on sale next year? And what do you think the price differential will be in the secondary? Uh, so the secondary market's already going to be sick. Um, with Big Bad Toy Store already making it like five hundred dollars i don't see sentinels dropping under 500 but uh it's crazy i'll uh <clears throat> i'll pull it up you definitely don't want to buy them on ebay that's for sure I mean, probably your best bet is going to be maybe a local comic book shop or somebody that uh, is a real good friend. Uh, but, yeah, I don't see once uh, people get those in hand, uh, the the price, the, like, three forty nine dollars they were at Hasbro, like, I don't. I don't ever see them being three forty nine again. And uh, part of that, like I said, big bag toy store, and uh, then you get into like the shipping and the tax and stuff. So you're probably talking five hundred plus for uh, for the Sentinels. If uh, if you have a comic book shop, I would see how many they possibly ordered. <clears throat> And uh, get an idea of what kind of price that they're putting on the Sentinel. And uh, if they'll let you kind of make payments towards it. Or kind of give you dibs when it comes in. That, uh, that might be some of your uh, scenarios for uh, scooping up the Sentinel. Marvel Legends... Has lab. Let's see what comes up. Yeah, like even even the figures with the Sentinel. Like here's a somebody's trying to list the bonus figures for like a hundred and fifty dollars. Like it's gonna be nuts. Um, has labs didn't work very well. I just know if I put in Marvel Legends Sentinel, we're going to see 
all kinds of stuff. All kinds of stuff. Let's see what uh, what's selling with the Marvel Legends Sentinel sold items and. feel like some of the Sentinel prices maybe dropped a little bit. Maybe I'm wrong. Because uh, there's definitely nothing wrong with, uh, with the Toy Biz Sentinel, with, uh, with the different Sentinels. So if I have everybody's focused on the HasLab ones, might be a good time. Ah, oh, like this. Look at this. That would have been a good deal. Here's a Toy Biz Sentinel. Looks like it went for like 62 bucks. Uh, that's an amazing deal. Amazing. But yeah, I'm not. Uh, it's hard to filter out. Uh, I tried putting in the HasLab, and I think people are. Probably going to be overcharging. Probably nobody's in a rush to buy them because they won't come out until next year. But uh, yeah, I would uh, I would talk to your comic shops. Uh, I'm sure we'll see them at like cons and stuff. But again, it's not. I don't think it'll be like Hasbro selling them, so I don't expect them to be retail. I imagine it'll be like vendors and stuff and booths. So. <clears throat> Probably plan on uh, 500 plus for those uh, Sentinels. Fabulous disaster. What's going on? Yeah, I mean, it's timing. It's an investment. Uh, I kind of look at it as the Sentinels are almost like a diorama piece. So you're going to place all these X-Men, all these characters around them, and it was cheaper than uh, buying the, um, uh, what's the name of the, not Diamond, um, uh, who did the really awesome Sentinels, the uh, the statues, they're, uh, they're pretty sick, and, uh, you know, Sentinels were cheaper than buying those, so. What's up, Jason? Do you think the new Sentinel will be a good investment? Yeah, yeah. I mean, yes, Iron Studios. Thank you, Rakeem. Uh, I don't see. Uh, I don't see them dropping. That's for sure. And it's gonna be a limited run. Uh, I forget what did it get over twenty thousand, which I feel like is still a small number when you really think about uh, toys and production so yeah you're uh, you're probably looking at your uh, you know your 300 turning into 500 turning into who knows how much so probably the most uh, profitable, Hasbro figure, and I don't, with it being Haslabs, I don't, you know, never say never, but I don't think they're going to do them again. Don't think they're going to do it. I could be wrong, though. I mean, maybe they, uh, maybe they open it up and do orders again, but I think it's going to be a one and done deal. Uh, I know you like going on hunts, but what website would you recommend? Uh, Air Max, uh, I'm a little uh, bewildered by the websites. Um, I, for Marvel Legends, you know, I'll go on Hasbro Pulse and I'll pre-order figures. But then I find them when I'm out hunting and cancel my orders, so... 
Uh, I've found quite a few figures like this guy. Found this guy in the wild, and Hasbro Pulse finally uh, sent him. I don't think they're doing these guys until uh, November. So it's uh, it's cool to have them pre-ordered in case I don't find them. But uh, a lot of times, especially with uh, the regular release, I uh, I end up canceling the pre-order with Hasbro Pulse. But I do have the membership of Hasbro Pulse, so when they do ship it, it's uh, it's free shipping. So that's a good thing. Uh, I like Amazon. Amazon, you have to keep an eye out every once in a while. Those prices won't be retail. So I know I've had a few things in the cart, and I had to pump the brakes because I'm like, yeah, that's a new figure, but I'm not going to pay that much for it. So if you use Amazon, just, uh, just make sure that it's, the price you're comfortable with, but uh, they usually do a pretty good job. Uh, they did make me wait like 30 hours, three days for my uh, for my two pack. That uh, that was kind of weird, but most of the time it's like, hey, guess what? You're gonna have Marvel Legends uh, tomorrow or next day. So I've had some pretty good experience with. Uh, with Amazon, uh, Big Bad Toy Store. I've had, uh, I haven't had any issues with Big Bad Toy Store. Um, they're good, or at least have been good in the past, as far as letting me know when things were uh, ready to be charged before they shipped it. So. Uh, Hasbro made the X-Men Blackbird Jet. Uh, that would be pretty crazy. I would actually like a Wolverine Jeep. Or was it, uh, was it Scott? Was it, uh, Cyclops' Jeep? I can't remember. I can picture Wolverine driving it. But, uh, yeah, if they did the Jeep from, uh, from the 90s X-Men, that would be awesome. Saw so Retro Kingpin. Yeah, that is an awesome, awesome card. Uh, if you haven't seen the Retro Kingpin in person, uh, definitely want to see that in package. The, the card is very impressive. Bullet 74, what is up? But yeah, that Iron Studios piece. I can't tell you how many times I have looked at that piece and the Sentinels and the different X-Men involved with that piece. So for me, these Sentinels uh, definitely, definitely got me off of that want. So I feel, uh, I feel a little bit better. And that was played a little bit into the pricing and how many Sentinels that I bought was uh, realizing I didn't need to buy that. So it's, uh, you know, the, the little the little stories we tell ourselves, right? Yeah, I definitely dig in the figure, the uh, Kingpin Retro. He is a big boy. If for some reason you didn't uh, get him as the Build-A-Figure, what a great opportunity to pick up the Kingpin. Brian, I heard the Sentinel also comes with a comic book reprint of the first appearance. Ah, oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I, there's supposed to be like some digital points. Like it's it's a whole thing. It's crazy. Uh, I'm excited uh, for the... Prime Sentinels, those uh, those are going to be pretty cool. So besides having the large Sentinel, uh, I'll have a pretty good number of the Prime Sentinels. So that's going to be real cool. I'm looking forward to that. 
Uh, can I get your opinion on the new Brock Venom? Um, are we talking about the the movie Venom? I uh, I think it looks pretty good, to be honest. Um, I you know obviously want to see it in person, but looks like a pretty good size figure, and I always enjoy when Hasbro has a longer time to kind of look at a movie figure and really do the character right. So I think uh, having the extra time on that Venom piece uh, definitely paid off with the movie figure. Uh, yes, I saw the diorama where uh, the guy took the house and made the X-Men mansion. That's, uh, that was pretty cool. I think that it, yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, more power to, uh, if you, if you can put in the time, uh, man, you can design some really cool stuff. And, uh, it's just like the diorama pieces that, uh, I've been using with Cobra and the different Marvel characters and stuff. Like, if you took the time to kind of weld those pieces and put the magnets in them and kind of, like, it's, uh, it's amazing what, uh, you can put together. But, uh, it definitely takes some, some time. And if, uh, you're not willing to put the time in, usually it's uh it's gonna cost you so <laughs> and sometimes it costs you and you gotta put the time in so collecting is uh is funny like that um i can remember being younger and uh my mom was uh awesome at uh building the little miniature houses and everything and that was uh you know that was kind of our thing we would go to these different shows and stuff and uh, a lot of the shows would have uh, comic books and figures and different stuff. And then uh, when my mom was looking at the different, like, dollhouse stuff and everything, it was like, man, like, if G.I. Joe, you know, if they if they raided that house, which uh, it happened on a few occasions, I, I probably got in a little bit of trouble. But, you know, the Joes, Joes need missions. And uh, my dad, he uh, he made me like an awesome uh, Ninja Turtles diorama. I can remember uh, having quite a few Ninja Turtles, and uh, he took like some different uh, PVC piping and stuff, and basically cut out like hole in a table. So like this wooden table was the street level, and then they went down like the PVC tubes to like go in the sewer and stuff so it's uh it's pretty awesome what you can do if uh you know if you learn those skills and kind of put it to work and put the time in i mean it's always always gonna take some time if you uh if you want to build something uh jedi howard 2022 uh silver centurion i have not found him in north carolina but uh stay tuned i may have one on the way we'll uh we'll see ah david thanks for stopping by i hope you have a great week Tall man, yes, uh, I have a awesome, awesome dad. He is super talented. Uh, I wish I could build things, work on things uh, the way he does, but uh, he has put a lot of time and energy and has trained himself to be uh, quite the, the craftsman. Uh, I try. I, uh, I get too impatient sometimes so it's uh it's tough <laughs> joe's on undercover missions yeah they uh they had to go in the house it was like swat stuff 
Oh yeah, yeah. My dad is uh, he is awesome. Especially uh, like I said, definitely did some real cool stuff for uh, for me. Uh, with some of those earlier earliest dioramas and uh, like we always had uh, sandboxes and all kinds of cool stuff to uh, kind of let the old imagination go wild with, uh, with the toys. Anthony, what's going on? Uh, we have a bunch of Walgreens Iron Man this way. Uh, the Silver Santorian, because uh, I am finding finding uh, Iron Man 2020 everywhere now. <laughs> and that's Walgreens. That is uh, that is how Walgreens plays out. It's like, except for Mystique, just about every other Walgreens exclusive, it's like, can't find it, can't find it. Oh, hey, look, we got 20 of them now. <laughs> They're everywhere now. They're everywhere. Now, now we need the, the next one. Let's see. So I think we talked about it a little bit. On uh, the 23rd, you're looking at the early access for Hasbro Pulse members, um, exclusive access to Hasbro Pulse premium members on HasbroPulse.com, limited quantities while supplies last, limit one per customer. Fast forward to the 24th, and at noon Eastern, Hasbro Pulse membership not required. Available on HasbroPulse.com. Limited quantities while supplies last. Limit one per customer. So that's kind of the toy buying side, which will be Wednesday and Thursday. When we get into Friday, you're looking at... A uh, presentation about magic, Dungeons and Dragons, Hasbro Star Wars panel, Hasbro S Star Wars HasLab panel, Star Wars Entertainment panel, and then a Hasbro... Marvel panel, and let's see, the Hasbro Marvel products experience will discuss some exciting news around Hasbro's ever popular Marvel Legends action figures line. Viewers will also get a sneak peek of upcoming, never-before-seen Marvel action figures, plus some special surprises as well. So I am definitely looking forward to that. Um, I wonder how late in the day the Marvel panel will actually be. It kind of looks like it's the last thing for Friday, so I don't know what, uh, what the time is frame is going to be. I uh, had to bite the bullet by Iron Man Centurion on eBay for almost 40 but did find all white. Yeah, oh man, that, uh, that moon night because uh, somebody was upset that uh, apparently I said moonlight. I mean, whatever. But yeah, that moon night is uh, pretty cool. So bullet seventy four, no, uh, no moon nights. That's uh, that's crazy. Just like totally skipped him, huh? Huh. So yeah, moon night, uh, kind of all over the place, huh? That's funny that moon nights here. Uh, Haslab 
Blackbird. Yeah, that would uh, that'd be fun. Uh, I have been looking for Star Wars Clone Lieutenant this week at Walgreens. Haven't found it yet. Uh, yeah, seems like uh, the website was uh, was a great way, and sounds like they've already some people were already getting the website uh, deliveries today. But uh, definitely check out those Walgreens. Uh, gotta gotta scoop up those clones. Uh, I'm kind of interested this Hasbro Star Wars uh, Haslab panel. Um, let's see. Uh, the description, they almost make it sound like it's going to be another uh, vintage collection dream project. Interesting. Very interesting. And then I'm excited. Uh, Saturday. Looks like starting off Saturday with a G.I. Joe panel. Transformers. More Transformers. Ghostbusters panel. Hasbro Power Rangers panel. And a Power Rangers entertainment panel so that's kind of the breakdown of the saturday sunday uh they got some guests uh john cena is going to be a special guest ernie hudson um henry uh, i'm gonna butcher his name but i think it's uh the dude that's gonna be snake eyes henry uh golden uh, James Ritterman, I don't know, is he like the director of the new Ghostbusters? Ashley Ensign, uh, D. Bradley Baker as a special Star Wars guest. They got the cast of the Power Rangers Beef Morphers, Beast, <laughs> did I say beef? That was kind of funny. Beast Morphers. Uh, Joe, uh, what's his face, uh, is doing Dungeons and Dragons. That's, that's gotta be, uh, pretty entertaining. Matthew Leonard. Wow. Dungeons and Dragons. There's, a uh, Kyle Newman. Fallout Boy. Look out. Trinacious D. I don't know who Lights is. And uh, it's all going to be hosted by Jackie uh, Jennings. So, yeah. Hasbro PulseCon. Who is excited? Uh, really, another vintage uh, Star Wars HasLab? They're going to build the Death Star? Maybe they'll build the Death Star. Found two clones in Walgreens. Nice. Uh, still looking for Punisher on bike. Yeah, that is uh, that is really weird. The uh, the Punisher on the bike, uh, kind of showing up as the Squirrel Girl. Um, yeah, it's weird, weird, weird stock in 2020. It is uh, it's so crazy. Uh, Walgreens got new pops, but nothing else. Yeah, definitely seen a lot of new pops. Uh, restock the Emma Frost. Ooh, that's tough. I mean, I, I like that figure, but man, that's tough. Haven't seen any new Punisher on the bike either. Yeah, uh, Punisher on the bike, I, I can't tell you all how lucky I got. Like, I am, I'm not really good at toy hunting. I get so... So lucky, so so lucky. I was actually going into Target looking for Beachhead for Greg. I think everybody got so excited about grabbing Beachhead that nobody noticed the Punisher on bike. So, long story short, 
All the beachhead were gone, but there was the Punisher bike. Sorry, Greg. I, I did find uh, another target that had beachhead for Greg. <laughs> I did. Uh, they should be letting us know what the new... Yeah, vintage. Vintage getting that HasLab again. Chris Barcodes. Chris Barcodes, uh, I saw him post uh, Baroness. Found, uh, saw the Baroness today. That's cool. What uh, what would people think if they repackaged the motorcycle, the Cobra coil, with uh, the red ninjas? That'd be pretty cool. Army build some motor motorcycles and ninjas. I can't believe. Well, I say I can't believe. I was very surprised by how much people wanted for the Cobra coil bikes on uh, eBay. Like, I thought nobody cared about the bikes, and they wanted, like, 40 bucks for uh, for the bikes. I'm like, man, maybe I can find people that were like, yeah, hey, I got the Baroness, let me sell the bike for 10 bucks." And no, it's like, I'm going to pay for the Baroness by selling the bike. It's nuts. Uh, rumor is they're making a 3.75 Mando Razor Crest. Yeah, I'd be um, I'd be surprised if that was the Haslab, but I uh, I totally see them doing like the Mandalorian is uh, so sick, and if season two just uh, keeps things going, uh, that does not surprise me. The Slave One looks awesome. I just uh, I don't. Just don't do the 3.75. Uh, it looks awesome, though. I need every clone. Yes. Get those clones. Make the clones. Death Star. Uh, man, how big would that... That would be sick. A three and three quarter inch Death Star. Like, ah, I can't, I can't even imagine... Like, that that would make no sense. It'd be like a whole room, wouldn't it? Uh, found the Punisher on bike, looking for Black Series, right? Like, it's just, they're so random. Like, you almost need to be like, did, uh, did we... Did we have Squirrel Girl here before? Is there a Punisher back there? Let me take a look. Uh, what's the ultimate peg warmer at Walgreens? I have been seeing a lot of the Power Rangers exclusive, that like Dino White Ranger. I don't know if it's because, like, everybody pre-ordered them on the Walgreens website, but I have seen, like, two of that guy at just about every store. I don't know if people are like, I'll have to contact Hasbro and get the different head sculpt because the deco's wrong. I don't, I don't know, but I've been seeing, like, Two of that guy, like, everywhere. <laughs> Terminate. Terminate those targets. Joel Miller, what's up? Uh, any chance we going to see? It's Wolverine. It's Marvel Legends. Uh, they love doing Wolverine and uh, Dwight seems to like love Hugh Jackman so yeah don't be surprised maybe uh, maybe like Funko Pop maybe we'll get that terrible Deadpool that could be a funny real funny joke but uh, yeah I could see us getting like uh, just about every Hugh Jackman Wolverine you can think of I think uh, they missed out, though. Uh, I really want X-23 because as much as Xavier and Wolverine are uh, 
great for Logan. Uh, you know, I think she's the main character compared to Professor X. All right, let's uh, let's open this guy up. We'll take a look at this Wolverine. But yeah, I'm not sure where they go with the Fox characters. Uh, I am amazed. the The Deadpool characters are awesome. I can't wait to have uh, the Deadpool two two pack. But even with that, it's like, do you do Colossus? And yeah, there's uh, there's gonna gonna need some decisions. You do, uh, you do Juggernaut. Juggernaut would be pretty crazy. <laughs> Kelsey, Kelsey Grammer Beast. That uh, that'd be a great look, right? That would be a great, great look. Let me get this guy out of here. Yeah, Toad would be great. We definitely need Toad for uh, the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants. Uh, we need Avalanche. Avalanche would be great. Yeah, I'm seeing it. It's uh, it's the old Jackman. So you got the jacket. Uh, you can see the beater is on there. It's underneath the shirt. The pants and belt buckle are uh, are the same. Got a little bit of a different uh, expression with like the mouth kind of open, yelling with uh, with that guy. No uh, no bone claws, but here is our just chilling. Wolverine head sculpt, which uh, I think that looks pretty good. Pretty uh, Hugh Jackman. But, yeah, we'll see if the Marvel panel on third, on Friday, if, uh, if they talk about any more Fox movie figures. The Fox movie figures... Uh, I feel like uh, need to have Storm, maybe Cyclops, Jean Grey, but it's kind of like where uh, where do you stop? Hard uh, hard to tell with those uh, with those Fox characters. Could we uh, could we get a Wolverine's Origins blob? <laughs> Uh, Epic Mosher 666. Uh, hope they have the Hellfire Goons on sale on the 23rd. That would not uh, surprise me. If not the 23rd, maybe, maybe by the weekend. But uh, if they if they're showing them, I imagine they'll uh, they'll go on sale, especially with. Uh, it kind of drop in overseas like it did. I uh, I hope they won't wait much longer to uh, give us an opportunity to get those ordered. Uh, you know, by next year, we're going to have 10 different versions of Hugh Jackman, right? <laughs> Yeah, they uh, they like Wolverine. They will uh, they will put together some Wolverines. Uh, they've already done so many Wolverines just based on the comic characters. So yeah, with uh, with these rights, they're gonna they're gonna do it. And yeah, maybe we get a Hugh Jackman Wolverine with a motorcycle. Uh, definitely be prepared for quite a few. Hugh Jackman, Wolverines. 
Yeah, I like uh, the Amazon one's pretty good. Uh, him kind of gritting with the teeth opposed to the kind of screaming, yelling. Uh, the hair, you can see it's kind of slicked back a little bit where you get more of the movie look Wolverine haircut. So, But yeah, definitely awesome. Uh, digging what uh, Hasbro is doing with these movie figures. Uh, the boxes are real cool. You get like the profile and uh, the profile on the back. Wolverine. So that is the normal release. And like I said, we'll get another kind of suited body and some different accessories with uh, the two pack. Uh, we also need a Deadpool Fox movie figure. Yeah, I imagine we'll get one on a single release. I was kind of surprised with uh, with the two pack. Yes and no, but um, like I kind of thought maybe Cable and uh, Domino would be like a uh, a two pack. But uh, I was surprised that they were single releases. They're the best at what they do. The best is what they do is not pretty. Not pretty at all. Uh, Ian. Head sculpt looks terrible. Um... Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. It's uh, it's definitely not a hot toy, so I guess I don't expect too much. Can you swap the heads? So let's see. Let's go ahead and let's put on... Don't want to lose the dog tags. But, yeah, it should be... Uh... Yeah, it looks real good. But this is also my uh, my favorite head sculpt out of, uh, out of the different Wolverine, Hugh Jackman head sculpts. So, but, yeah, I think that looks... Pretty solid. The old Wolverine. And if you want uh, a little more Berserker here with uh, kind of the bone claws popping. Yeah, I was, uh, so I saw that they were dropping at Books a Million. We don't necessarily have Books a Million here in Charlotte. We have Second and Charles, which they get the same products as uh, Books a Million. So luckily, one of the managers was awesome enough. Uh, she was going through their new items, and she, uh, was nice enough to uh, hold on to a Wolverine for me. So really appreciate it. Had she not done that, uh, Ryan would have got it first. So I feel like I got it first because she was holding it for me. So that was uh, very helpful of her. But uh, I hope everybody has an awesome week. Gonna put up another hunt video. Uh, found something very nice at uh, Walmart. So definitely check out that video. Hope everybody has an awesome week. Uh, hopefully can check in with people as Hasbro Pulse starts on um, Tuesday with that sneak peek. So... Hopefully everybody enjoys uh, Hasbro PulseCon and 
hopefully we get to talk and uh, hang out and talk about it. And apparently, boom. That's all that takes. But yeah, just uh, just have an awesome weekend. Look forward to uh, talking more as uh, as the week progresses. If uh, you're ordering from Hasbro Pulse, uh, the best of luck to everybody. Hopefully, you grab those exclusives that you're looking for. And uh, until next time, always be hunting. Have fun collecting.